Time for the next big thing in tech, and today we're talking guest mog, and we've got Jorn Gogang, and he joins us. He's a CEO and founder, and he's out in San Francisco in our bureau there. Thank you very much for joining us today. For those that don't know, what is guest mob? Guest mob is a uh, discount uh, online, an online discount booking system for hotels. Okay, and how does it work? Because um, this is a little interesting. Is that um, unlike other booking services, you don't quite know where you're going to end up, do you? Well, you actually know a lot more than than what's available today. So with Guest Mob, you have the ability to to pick a collection of hotels that we spend a lot of time selecting. Generally, great hotels that we send our mothers to, and you can you can book a collection of four to eight hotels. The bookings are refundable, and prices tend to be twenty to fifty percent lower than the available prices on on that you find online. Kayak speed. Okay. Uh, d tell us how you got the idea for the company, how, how this came about, because this is a, an interesting idea, um, and, and how the business of it works. Well, the guest mob is really inspired by the, the, the Chinese concept of Tuang Gu, which is group buying. So what we do is we actually group customers into these mobs, these virtual groups, and we have a, a, a back-end auction where hotels are essentially bidding for the business in reverse. The, the, what's really special about this is it enables us to secure prices that you wouldn't be able to get online, right? And, and, and we're actually breaking a concept in the industry called rate parity, which, is, which, we, which, which I call legalized price fixing. Uh, so that's why we're able to be, get prices that no one else can get give, online. Give me an, really exa price give me an example. If I, if I was to um, want a hotel in, in, in New York for a night, which is notoriously expensive, right, um, right. I, I'm told it's about 400 bucks a night in a decent hotel. What, what would I pay if I went with guest mob? Well, you would pay anywhere between 20 to 30 or 40 percent lower than the price that you get for that, ho that same hotel on, uh, on some of the other online sites. So what generally we do is we'll, we'll get you a collection of hotels that are generally equivalent in the same location. You can see the hotels, you can review them. There's no secret hotel that you have to deal with. And we'll price it. So we have a software algorithm that actually makes a lot of decisions around what is the optimal price that we think we can get from the hotel in that auction. So we hmm. take a lot of signals and a lot of data analysis to figure out what the best price is going to be. Now, now the, you would seem to be going straight head to head with Priceline. Uh, do you think they're running scared? Do you think they're sort of, you know, got your picture on their dartboard or something? <laughs> we're a small company of less than 10 people. I don't think we're scaring them. But I think they should be scared in the future. Uh, I mean, this is, this, we're really riding a trend of, of big data and social data. And we're making a lot of technology investments on one of the core problems that people have when they're looking for deals, which is, is am I getting the best price? Right? And a lot of these companies haven't innovated on the price segment, and that's what we're focused on. So now, I think in the future, this is, you know, this is, this should be a concern to the industry, but at least it's going to be a benefit to consumers. I, I do like your attitude, though. They, they should be scared. Now, now tell us, any entrepreneur who's set up a business has, has made some mistakes. I mean, that's just natural. That's the way it goes. Um, tell us about the mistakes that you've made, what you've learned from it, so that people, uh, you know, listening to you can, you know, learn themselves. You know, it's interesting. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still young, so I don't know if I, I'm, I'm in a position to start giving lessons, but I've had a, a couple of failures in my past, a couple of successes. I think when you start a company, you really want to think big, and you want to make sure that you push the boundaries. Uh, so you want to think big market, big problem, and you want to make sure that you're using as leading-edge technology as possible. It's not just because you're going to get, you know, make great returns for you, your employees, and your investors, but it's also because you want to be able to attract really smart people. Right? And, and, and I think that when you're going after complex issues and, and you can't be afraid of, of the backlash that you're getting through from, from some of the industry people, right? So as long as you know that you're, 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 you're driving benefits and value to consumers, mm. you know, thing is, everything else is going to take care of itself. Now, are, are you making money now? We are making money. The, the company is generating cash. Uh, it's growing very, very well. We're very happy. We're in the early stages. We can't talk about specific metrics, but we're very happy. We just launched 20 markets. We're in the top 20 markets in the U.S., mm. from New York to Vegas to Boston. And uh, I'm telling you, we're, we're, we're happy and we're sleepless. Okay, well, um, come, come visit us when you are next in New York. Uh, Jorn Gogang, um, the CEO and founder of Guest Mob, we really appreciate your time today.